Hey guys, what's going on? David with Stock Android Tech. Um, today I want to be discussing um, an application called Tiles. Now this only works for um, individuals uh, that has Android Nougat 7.0 and above. Now this application, I have been using it, I want to say roughly three weeks. Now I've done a video on another application similar to this called Tile Extensions, but this application is way, way better. So uh, again, I've been using it for a couple of weeks because I wanted to get the look and feel of it to see how it operates, to see whether or not is there any lag or anything like that. And so far there's absolutely Absolutely nothing wrong with this application so I figured testing it out before introducing it to you guys and I want to say that right now between tiles and tile extensions that this application is 100% better because you get more options in tiles than you do in tiles extensions now this has 5,000 downloads 4.8 rating it does get the annual updates every so often when it needs to be the last was on the 16th of March so you know this app is legit now you have you have a lot of options when it comes to um, customizing the notification tray and as you can see from my standpoint when I'm showing you this that I've got three pages of uh, shortcuts on my notification bar so um, it, it is legit basically to get this going is once you download it you want to go and open up the application now there is a night mode that you can enable but you have to go into the settings to do so and it's gonna be under auto that way when it starts getting dark and your time zone it all automatically switches to night mode so I really love that option when they give it to you um, you have another option for navigation bar tints um, and you have status bar tints status bar icons light icons or you can go into the dark icons and uh, the drawable animation has been enabled as you saw earlier when I opened it up the notification bar and um, the uh, animation uh, reveal also and just go through this guys they have a Google plus page you can also view um, and you can <clears throat> go ahead and join the community for uh, future updates or what to be expected for this application now in order to start getting the shortcuts added um, what you want to do is just click on whatever you want anything here that you see is clickable so I'm just gonna go ahead and go with an alarm now if you want to have this set up in here you can just go ahead and click the enable button here and then it's gonna ask you for the action so you can either when you tap on the alarm you can either add the add alarm or show the alarm so you have options there on how you want to pursue it when enabling that feature um, you have another feature for time format so they give you four options here that you can choose from whatever you're comfortable with and um, yeah so once you get that set up just go ahead and uh, open up your navigation um, tray and then go to edit and then right here where it says alarm tiles you can go ahead and add Add it to um, right here to your tiles so just go ahead and hit the check mark once you're done but it is easy as that there's nothing difficult about this application whatsoever you do get a lot of options uh, of your choosing and what you want to use and um, I find it to be a, a very 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 useful very useful app um, when using this application again this is only for Nougat 7.0 so when you go through this just go ahead and just again click what you want go ahead and enable it here and then you get to choose how you want it to be opened when you click on it and then once you get done doing so you don't even have to close out of the application to you know get down to here you don't even have to do any of that as soon as you enable it you can just automatically go into your page hit edit and then you can go ahead and just drag it here and so you can continue to do that you can even uh, go in between uh, like this uh, so you don't have to constantly close out the application every time you want to add a new uh, shortcut so um, yeah other than that like I said I've been using it for a couple of weeks I haven't had any problems there's no battery uh, lag there's no lag at all period and um, it also supports multi window and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you this real quick so I'm going to enable the multi window and it's gonna say accessibility service you want to go ahead and make sure you enable that where it says tiles go ahead and click on 
and hit OK. Now you want to go ahead and go back. Once you get this over and done with, just go ahead and slide this down, go into your edit, and right here where it says multi window, hit the check mark and just click on it. And then all of a sudden, you're going to have this feature pop up. So normally, to get to the multi window, you would have to hit this, and then whatever app you choose to use for the multi window automatically is going to be placed. So instead of doing that, if you guys want to go ahead and just use the shortcut, you can click on it and it takes you right into a uh, multi window view. Now, in order to get out of the multi event, you know, multi window view, uh, just go ahead and hit the back button uh, a couple of times. Now, usually it should work, it should take you right out of it. And if it doesn't, just go ahead and hit the home key. And usually it's supposed to work with the home key. So instead of doing all this mess, go ahead and just clear everything out or re uh, maximize the multi window uh, so you can go ahead and leave all of that and get back to what you were trying to do originally so I'm gonna go ahead and this uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because I don't have any use for it so um, give me one quick second to turn this off okay so now I'm gonna go back down here because again I really don't have any use for this and it is gone and I'm gonna take this out too because again I only use the alarm and everything else through Google Assistant there's no reasons why I should you know need it but if you guys are interested in the shortcuts by all means knock yourself out now you also have um, an a reminder here shortcut um, it, it's similar to uh, the Google Assistant if you ask them to remind you of an appointment or if you remind Google Assistant about where you left your car keys you can have it um, on your um, notification panel as a shortcut now the only downfall is once you make that reminder right here where it says where I'm recording a video this right here is going to stay there until you delete it or mark it off as red. So just want to give you guys a heads up that that's going to be uh, staying in your notification tray until you actually remove it manually. So uh, I have no problem with that. But you have everything from screen mode, setting shortcut. And setting shortcuts quite interesting because instead of having to open up the application to go choose what you want to enable, all you need to do is just go to the sh uh, Enable the shortcuts, add it to um, your notification tray as a shortcut, click on it, and it automatically pops up right here into your device settings. So, you know, it, it actually works. It's useful. So, um, other than that, guys, go check that out. If you did like this application, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the bottom of the description box. That way you can go check it out and let me know what you think about it. Again, this... Uh, application is only for Android Nougat um, 7.0 and above and um, right here I'm gonna show you again what it's going to look like that way you know what you're looking for um, if by chance you can't find a link or you're just not responding but this is it right here again 5004.8 rating and it's been updated in March 2017 take my word for it. it's a very very good app you want to try it out let me know what you think and if you like this video hit that like button don't forget forget to subscribe again this is uh, stock Android tech thank you for watching take care and I will see you on the next video peace